Can somebody tell me what the hell is going on here? Who is this for? What is going on with Dr. Roo? Just when you think it can't get any worse. Uh, it's it's getting so much worse, guys. And this show is like, this show is beyond dead at this point. Like it ended with Peter Capaldi for me. And if you guys like the new version of Doctor Who, fantastic. Good for you. I'm so, I'm so happy for you. I really am. I can't be happy though. I have to be miserable and grumpy and grouse about Doctor Who, which used to be my favorite well, science this fiction this show. This isn't Doctor Who. The Doctor's still there. It's Doctor what the it's fuck? <laughs> So just just to just to recap here, we've got oh, a new what? doctor, but maybe not because this is a spinoff doctor. Right. Because remember, the other doctor's still around. David, David Tennant's, Tennant's still, still around. There. But now the doctor wears a dress, uh, will be singing and dancing more often, and apparently can twerk enemies to death. Right. It's kind of like She-Hulk, but worse. What the but you can fuck? In that. <laughs> what in the fuck? Are you doing BBC, Russell? I, this is a, an elaborate troll, right? This is Russell T. Someone Davies smoking something. I mean, they must have written, they must have interviewed when they were they were high. Okay, guys. So we've got all this money from Disney. How can we burn it? Okay. Pretty much. Let's put the doctor in a. Focus. It's probably Disney mandates. It's probably the same people worked on She-Hulk. Put the doctor. Let's make the doctor flamboyantly gay black man in a dress who twerks enemies to death and participates in musical numbers often. And we know it's going to be mostly musical numbers now because the villain is like a musical drag queen or something. You know, like what the fuck some, is a, going a Saturday on? Saturday Night Live or some kind of parody as like a joke. I would, I would watch the hell of it and think it was hilarious. We but already being serious. That's, we are that's already, the problem. Oh right? God. We already had the the joke, like the joke was, and I think it was like Red Nose Day or something like back in the day that the doctor would regenerate into a woman. Well, we already did that. So now it's like, okay, how can we go beyond parody? Let's go beyond parody. And, and but, but beyond that. They've gone plaid. They've gone to plaid. <laughs> oh my God. Doctor <laughs> Who has gone to plaid. Oh my God. Right. Oh my God. So. They're oh, also no. saying that they're not going to walk back the timeless children. In fact, they're going to embrace the timeless children. Well, they like to embrace children, so that's probably true. Oh, no. Um, so it's going to be the spine of the whole show now. In fact, they're going to... Like, what are you doing? Wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> okay, this has to be intentional. They have to get some looking for some kind of tax write-off or something. Because when you have your fans, the majority of your fans telling you we don't like something... Of course you double down on it. You make it the entire spine of your show. Well, it's not wrong. Assuming Ru this show has one. I don't know if it oh, does. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> it's not Russell's money, right? He can just do whatever the fuck he wants. It's Disney's money. Well, just maybe Russell T. Davies, maybe he's like a closet Disney hater. And he's just like, oh, I've been waiting my entire life to fuck Mickey over. Let's let's well, just know, take his money and make the most. Case, it's, like the per it's like the producers. It's like we're going to do the most. Like the Oh We're going to do the most ridiculous version of Doctor Who ever just so Disney can lose money and I can laugh. This, this is like the producers. Oh, my gosh. I just, I would like to say I'm joking, but I'm not. Now, I do know when they had that stupid thing about eating babies song with the goblins or whatever the hell they were. Yeah. They pushed that like crazy on TikTok. And yes. it was popular and trending on TikTok. And it seems like that's the audience they are trying to go for. Well, here we go, guys. This is This is your new doctor, everybody. Is he gonna is he gonna dance on the, the clock? No. That's because there's an L in it. Uh this is What the hell? I don't know what we're watching. I don't know what we're doing. Is he gonna dance? Is he gonna dance? Don't start singing. Clocking in. Oh my god, he's gone to plaid. I just <laughs> God, what are the comments like on this? Is Entertainment <laughs> Weekly? What are the comments like? Doctor is in, says Doctor Who. This is Pete Cringe. I can't even. Shooty, bring back the wonder and awe from when I first started watching. Talk about owning it. Flags in the bio. I'm done, Barf. I'm done. There's a cringe. Cringe, gay, 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 gay. I remember when I mean, Doctor. There's nothing wrong with being gay. It's just that this is just like this is just like kind of almost like mocking it. The Doctor has been gay coded in the past. Let's just you know, but actually, the Doctor never really was into romance until River Song came along. That was you know, I remember My character when, who did it right was Captain Jack. But I'm just yeah, saying. yeah. 
Yeah, Captain Jack is more masculine than this doctor. Captain Jack didn't wear a dress, did he? He might have worn it. Maybe he wore no, a dress. No, I don't believe so. I didn't so. watch a lot of Torchwood, so well, what, Okay, but where are the comments? Someone said that he, there's an interview with him, and he does bring up the twerking. Is, do you have that? Yeah, he said in Entertainment Weekly, that's what I'm going to put into the universe. I need the doctor to have a big, fierce dance routine that, like, destroys a monster with twerking. Or maybe yeah, he some... Probably he probably just dies from embarrassment. <laughs> Or maybe some death drops, and that's what will drop the monster. What the? F oh my God! Well, it's dropping the audience, so you know you got a part of it right. So yeah, I, can, I cannot understand why they think this. Is, any of this is a good idea. Doubling down on timeless children, twerking monsters to death. I hope he's kidding. I I don't know. It might be. It might be because people were complaining about the the new season, the Big Bad being. A uh, musical drag queen, I think. Is Again, why? Uh, At least it's better than the big bad is, is humans and orange man. But, you know. Uh, slightly better. Yeah. Are you Wait, but are you allowed to present drag queens as the as the villain? I thought that wasn't allowed. I thought you were allowed <sighs> to, to present, you know, marginalized groups as, as the villain. I don't know. I, I'm sure. I never can keep track of the rules. It I'm sure changes every week. he, they, them's year will have a redemption arc. So, yeah. So this is, this is what pisses. I mean, there's a lot of things that piss. I don't even, you know what? I'm at the point where I'm beyond pissed. I just want to throw papers in the air and be like, whatever. Whatever. None of it too. matters. None of it fucking matters. So Davies summarized in Entertainment Weekly saying much of the companion of Ruby Sunday's arc was inspired by the timeless child plot line. Series 14, both Ruby and the doctor will be and they're already fired her or whatever. She's moving on to something else, but that's not unusual. I mean, sometimes companions only stick around for a season or even an episode, but you know, she's already gone. They already made sure that, you know, she's gone before she started this season, which I thought was kind of weird. Said uh, both Ruby and the Doctor will be curious about their origins and their similar histories as foundlings. That story is going to be the spine of the okay, whole so show. Okay, so they're orphans as the spine of the whole show. Okay, so <sighs> as, that makes more sense than the that, well, baby headline. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it said as a refresher, the timeless child plot involved the Doctor discovering that she wasn't a native of Gallifrey, but in, in, which breaks the whole fucking show. But an adoptee brought to the plant by an explorer who discovered the doctor's regenerative powers after a series of experiments where the where the scientists repeatedly killed a child, repeatedly. Uh, Tectaeun extracted the regeneration ability, did some DNA splicing, and created the Time Lords. The doctor was forced to act as a Time Lord agent for several lifetimes before their memories were repressed. And they escaped, and then they had the timeless children, and they fucking destroyed whatever goodwill was left. And, and none of it matters. It's all so damn stupid. Now they've gone to plaid. I'm destroying the enemy. Oh, I thought you were twerking for me. No, I was twerking at the... I'm destroying the enemy. Okay. I wonder Sorry. what... <laughs> she literally got out of her chair, started twerking. I thought... First, she wasn't saying anything. I thought she was mad at me no. for being mad about the show. No. And then she got up. And I thought she was having a seizure, but she wasn't. Um, no, the monsters. That's how you destroy them. Okay. You twerk at it. So I was trying to ruin this awful show. But yeah. Sorry, guys. I tried my best. My twerking skills are not that good. But it's, yeah, he's keeping it. He's keeping it. He's building on it. He's made it the spine of the whole show. Next. Who fucking cares? There's not going to be anybody left to watch the show except for TikTok people with flags in their bios. That's basically well, all who's going to be they left. They were trying to sell the song, and I guess it went trending on TikTok, and that's how they got a lot of their attention. So they're just trying to do it again. They're, they're just making it, because who's it for? TikTok. This is typical. I mean, this is a very Disney thing. People were worried about the Disneyfication of Doctor Who. Disney being preoccupied with social media over, like, actual fucking ratings and actual fucking sales is a very <laughs> Disney thing. I'm sorry. I was laughing because I thought you I was back to you think I had a seizure. It just made me laugh for no reason. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, I'm I'm out. I'm sorry. I've been out, but I'm like really, really fucking out now. Just, just it's done. Like this show's not even dead. You're just like dragging the damn corpse around at this point. I'm like, fuck this. Fuck it. Are we done? Yep. We're done. Bye. Bye. <laughs>